Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Today's a great day here in Ottawa, Canada. It's gonna be plus 20 maybe. It's sunny, bright, and it's beautiful. Just remember, every day above ground is a great day. Every day sober is a fantastic day. It really is. They both go hand in hand. If you could take a second, subscribe to my channel. If you could take another second, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. This video is about caution. Be very cautionary not to fall into this trap when it comes to your recovery. And a lot of us do. I was like the poster boy for what I'm going to talk about today. I was like the poster boy of it. I had it tenfold. And what I'm talking about is feeling like a victim, feeling like we got ripped off from life. I know getting sober and working on your recovery and all those emotions and all that guilt and shame all that hurt and anger can make us feel like the world has wronged us or are victims of our lives and we'll never get out of it. Well, that is untrue. It really is. It's untrue. The road to recovery is always under construction, but it's a process. We have to work our way through. And if we feel like a victim, if we're using words like the world has ripped us off, like I just said, it's not fair. Why did this happen to me? I'll never get better. They're doing better than me. All that sort of stuff is words that put us in the victim mode. And where do we go with that? We go to depression. We go to sadness. We go to hopelessness. That's where we go. And I know some of us go there and we go there a little bit at a time sometimes, but to stay there is definitely a roadblock for your recovery. Re recovery is about empowerment. It's about action. It's about building a great life for ourselves and the people around us. But when we feel that we're in a victim mode or we feel hopeless or life is unfair, it's a roadblock. It'll stop us. So all the growth that you think you're doing will just stop. It'll stop it in your tracks. And the thing about it is with depression, feeling depressed, feeling guilty and shame, it grows on us like a fungus and it can stick to us for a long, long time. It really can. It stuck to me for years feeling like the victim. So somebody told me just basically snap out of it and I just had enough and I was going to do something about it. Life is terrible for an alcoholic, especially in early recovery. We did not come into recovery because life was great. We did not come into recovery because people loved us and things that we did were, pr were proper. We came into recovery because life was pretty bad. And so to go to the victim mode is, a pretty, is pretty easy and it can feel comfortable. There's a lot more people in this world a lot worse off than us. At least we have the ability to change our lives to the better. A lot of people out there have cancer, debilitating illnesses, mental health issues that they will never recover from. But us in recovery of, from alcoholism have an opportunity to build a great life, a fantastic life for ourselves and the people around us. It is tough, but it's not impossible. It really, really isn't. It's not impossible. So get off your duff, get out there and start proving to yourself that life is better in sobriety than it is sitting on your couch and moping about the things that are wrong in your life. We all have it, buddy. We all have things wrong in our lives and things that we are guilty about and shameful about. But you know something? It doesn't have to be a stopper, a showstopper in your life. It can be a, be a springboard in your life to having a great, great, big, happy, you know, serene sobriety. It really can. So enjoy your sobriety. Don't get caught in the trap of victim and the life is sucks. It doesn't. Life sucks for everybody. Everybody's got things to be, you know, that they don't like about themselves and the world around them, but it doesn't hold most people back. But alcoholics, like I say all the time, we think we're special. We think that it only happens to us but it really doesn't. It happens to a lot of people, alcoholic, addictive or not. It really does, okay? Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna have a great day today. That's what I'm gonna have. 
And why am I gonna have that? Because I'm sober today. I'm sober today and I'm doing the things to make my life more tolerable or whatever. <laughs> I'm just rambling on now. You get the point, right? You get the point. Okay, I'm Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, please subscribe. If you could take another second, hit that like button. But if you all can, leave a comment below. I love you. Take care of yourselves. And remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. Stay safe. Stay sober. God bless. Ciao for now.